In a job traditionally dominated by men, a spark of inspiration ignites as a Bedford County teenager paves her own path. 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh shares how Ashley Goff is breaking barriers in the field of firefighting. For Ashley Goff, starting to officially work for Big Island Volunteer Fire Department was only a matter of time. It runs in the family. I am so blessed to work with my grandfather, my dad, my sister, my uncle is in this fire department, um, my mom was in the rescue squads. Just last month, Goff passed her Firefighter 1 and Hazmat op certification, landing her the title of becoming the first female junior firefighter. Amazing. Um, I worked really hard with it, so I had school and softball and my job during it, so it was a lot, but I'm really proud of myself and I really can't wait to just get into it and help my community. From school to softball to the fire station, Ashley Goff throws on her gear and continues to break boundaries for young women in and out of the station. The chief of the fire department, Ashley's dad, marvels at her commitment to service and remembers her walking around the station as his little girl. It makes you overwhelmed when you think about it because I remember bringing her in here and taking her out right around the parking lot with the fire truck and she could barely set up in my lap and then now she's actually right in the back of the, back of the truck. So. I asked Ashley if she ever got nervous while heading to a fire. And you have to go through your training that you have and you just have to believe in yourself. Her infectious determination encouraging not only younger generations but also the women who want to start their journey in a male-dominated field. I say just do it. It's a lot of fun. It's, it is a little strenuous. It's a lot of hard work, but everyone can do it, and everybody, if you put your head to it, you can do it. Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.